Hello Food Day friends. Today I wanted to talk about some white Canadian squirrel cheek brushes that have recently restocked and that I think are a good value. I know price and value is relative, but I don't think you can find these types of brushes with this hair type uh, for a better price. And that is what I wanted to highlight today. In particular, I recently purchased this red handle brush from CD Japan and wanted to compare it to a few other white Canadian squirrel cheek brushes that I have. So let's start with, these are the brushes I pulled out, but let's start with the well-known Kuyudo white Canadian squirrel cheek brush with the hand painted Sakura. This brush used to be more limited, but recently in the last few years, they have been restocked on a regular basis. So don't feel like you need to go out and get this brush. It had a price increase in 2021, early 2021, that was rather large and it now retails for 30,000 Japanese yen. Depending on where you live, um, the current exchange rates may make it uh, more affordable and more in line with what it used to cost before the price increase. For example, uh, the Japanese yen has really depreciated against the US dollar. So for me, being based in the US, in 2019 this brush used to cost around 200 us dollars and now with today's exchange rate i'm filming this in july 2022 it costs around 220 dollars so it comes out to around a 10 percent price increase from pre-price increase if that makes sense which i think is reasonable so let's just get down to the brush this brush I think is a collector's item because of the more ornate um, handle. In terms of performance, so if you're if you're a collector and you value having more collection pieces, I do think it's worth it and a brush worth at some point getting your hands on. In terms of performance, the White Canadian Squirrel is really good at picking up pigment. I haven't had any issues with either very pigmented products or less pigmented products. It does well with hard pressed products or softly pressed products. Really no issues with product pickup or deposit. In terms of blending, it is a little stronger than with regular gray or blue squirrel or any other red squirrels. It has, it is a little stronger than like the softer squirrel types. This hair type is more, a more resilient squirrel type. That said, I would not use this with creams. And for softness, the tips are very soft, but it still has the stiffness to them. I will try to show the density. It is medium to high density. And there's a tiny little gap on the side. But overall, I think it is densely packed. The bristles are 35 millimeters long. And the ferrule width is 20 millimeters. And in terms of ferrule thickness, if you're looking at it from the side, it is 12 millimeters thick. It's an easy to use standard paddle shape. It's also very multi-purpose for all cheek products. And the 12 millimeter width, I think makes it not flimsy. So it has some strength and body to use. I know it's expensive, but it has stood the test of time for me. And overall, I really like this brush. I talked about the dimensions and I wanna also call out a um, spreadsheet I'm working on. 
I will link it below. I have the, this and the brushes I will be talking about already in the spreadsheet and it's just a reference for me to be able to compare across dimension sizes and prices. So feel free to look at that if you want to compare any different brushes. I hope you will find it helpful. So now that I've talked about this one, let me return to the CD Japan one. This is how it came packaged. It came in this little box, which is great for storing. I have already opened it, but I wanted to show how it came packaged. So this is already opened. Now this brush I think is intriguing because it has the near identical dimensions as the Kuyuta one, but is a little less expensive. So this one retails for 20,000 Japanese yen, which is around 150 US dollars. It has the same white Canadian squirrel bristles and a similar brush shape, but it does not have the Sakura design handle. So if you're someone that doesn't care for the shorter handle or the decorative handle, or you want one more suited for everyday use, I think this red one is a good option. The handle is a glossy red. It's very well finished, smooth transition to the ferrule. The ferrule is also a little glossy. And then the CD Japan logo is engraved. Yes, slightly engraved. Let me make sure my camera's focusing. There we go. In a gold font. The dimensions are the closest to this Kyoto one. It has the same thickness of 12 millimeters and hair length of 35 millimeters. However, this one was actually one millimeter wider. Um, so this way, there's you're not gonna be able to see that on the camera. The only reason I know this is because I was measuring them with um, a caliper and I measured them down to about the quarter or half millimeter. And density wise, I also think it's the same medium to high density. The only difference in these two brushes is that I find this one to be a little more tapered than the Kuyuto one which is more rounded near the top. Now, this one, the red one, I actually bought because I liked the black one that was released in 2021 so much. And I had points that were going to expire. And I think there was a coupon and I just went for it thinking I would be getting a duplicate of this black one. This one has a black matte handle, the same gold engraving, and the glossy ferrule. I purchased these two brushes, ex or purchased the red one expecting it to be identical to the black one, and I was a little surprised because when I got the red one, the width, or yes, no, the thickness seemed a little skinnier than the black one and I was concerned that maybe they had skimped on the hair or that they weren't the same. You might be able to see that on camera. The black one is just a little chunkier and that is why I took out the caliper to measure it and what I discovered is that the black one is thicker by one millimeter in thickness but it's also skinnier width-wise by almost two millimeters width-wise. And that you should be able to see here. The red one is actually the widest of all three. Here we go. 
I will put them in order of least wide and then middle one millimeter wider in terms of thickness these are the same this one is a little bit thicker anyways um, I have the spreadsheet link below if you want to look at the exact numbers and that doesn't mean I like any of these more or less I think it just goes to show how there can be manufacturing differences and even though I thought I would be purchasing two identical brushes, there actually are some differences between them. Unfortunately, the black one is no longer available. Let's do some more size comparisons. Here is the Chikuhodo Z4, which I think is a good comparison for both of these. Hair lengths are also the Z4 is 36 and it is skinnier or smaller width. This is getting a little too complicated for the video because I keep saying width and thickness, but I think you know what I mean and um, everything will be clarified in the spreadsheet. And then lastly, here is the Wayne Goss airbrush. Not that these are at all similar, but this is a pretty well-known brush and I want you to get a feel for how it compares in terms of size for a cheek brush. And the Wayne Goss does have more of that taper towards the top, which is how my red one is. If you have any of these brushes, whether it's um, the CD Japan branded ones or the Kyudo one, I would love to know how yours are shaped and how you like them. If you have any questions on these brushes or the hair type in general, um, just comment below and I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching.